What's going on guys? Conducting a First Amendment audit today and we got a two for one. Two for one. Two for one special? I think so. Today we are at the Foxborough Public Safety Building, home of Foxborough's Gillette Stadium, the New England Patriots. Conducting a First Amendment audit, we got a two for one for you because after this, we got another one coming up. Hopefully folks file in because we are at the prisoner release. That's where the prisoners come out. Prisoner release. Huh. After they uh, are extorted, they're released. This is the main lobby for police and fire. It's a public safety building. So they offer all sorts of services here. So hopefully I don't see a TV in here because I hate seeing TVs in public safety complexes because they're servicing the safety of the entire community. Hopefully we don't lose service here. They do have a communication tower and I checked, we got full service. Oh, there's the tear gas. Yeah, that's the torture device. HMAT, we're at the Foxborough Police Department. Now we got a two for one going on today. There's a huge communication center. They got a lot of stuff going on here. The Pats play here. What? <laughs> well, it's a torture device. That's how they torture people. What is it, a handcuff? Yeah, it's a restraint. It's literally a torture device. You put it around your wrist and you turn the other end and it'll start to crush the bones. What's up, gods of Egypt? I don't see them watching any like television. There are TVs up here, which I can't see what's on there. DJ Dance and Dave. I talked to um, about Matthew on Carl Annie Court. So I, I have a, I have a phone number for the side. No, 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 it's all good. Just wanted to make sure he was okay. It's all good. Oh, there's Gronk. Yeah, if you want. Yeah, if you want. Right. Right. How are you? Good, how you doing, man? Good. What's going on? Not too much. Just taking a peek. Can I have your, are you a dispatcher or a police officer? No, I'm a police officer. Can I have your uh, ID number or your badge number, please? Patrick Matson. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate it. My ID number is 351. Awesome. Is it, so this is a complex, so you like service, all the safety administration comes into this center, right? This is the police and fire joint, yep. Okay, cool. Yep. All right, thanks, man. Yeah, no Appreciate problem. it. Home of the best football team ever, the New England Patriots. So if you're watching from another state, unfortunately, like maybe New York, for example, I don't know what happened with the Giants, but maybe we'll call it like the curse of Rex Ryan. See, watch this. People say I hate cops, but watch this. Watch this. Hey man, just quick question. What's the best football team of all time? Oh, dude, come on, come on. What? I forgot. You know what station you're in, right? Well, what, what, New England Patriots? Could be, maybe. Something, something like that. There's always something we can agree on. The Giants, well, the Giants do suck. 
I'm not going to say they suck. They're just not as good as the Patriots. I was referring to the movie um, uh, that Adam Sandler was in when Rex Ryan pretended to be like in love with Tom Brady and uh, Bill Belichick. Appreciate it, thank you. He just said he had to step around the corner if we need him for anything, let him know. Nothing, I was on a totally different subject. I could talk about more things than, than just one. Old equipment here. What's going on, Tucson Lori Cop Watch? This building is enormous. So, it doesn't, you may need badge access to get upstairs. Oh, no, looks like we can go upstairs. I might lose you guys for a second in the elevator, but we're gonna go upstairs and take a look. You know what? I don't even want to go. Maybe I'll go on the stairwell now that I know I can go upstairs because I don't want to lose service in the elevator. So I'm going to go up the stairs, guys. It's publicly accessible. It doesn't have a sign that says unauthorized access. I'm going to go there. I usually, whenever I come to a fire department, there's, the trophies are normally always for the firefighters. I think that's because if the fire department and the police station were to have any sort of sports engagement, we know who would win. Look at that. Look at this old breathalyzer, guys. Look at this thing, this is a breathalyzer. Imagine having to carry that around a figure if somebody was drunk. Holy moly. Yep, that is the hugest breathalyzer I've ever seen. What's up, Lord? Hugest breathalyzer I've ever seen in my life. Imagine if the cops had to carry that around. That's insane. All right, guys, it's a flag of honor. Now on that flag, now we can have a little discussion for a second. Because I want to get your feedback. I don't have an opinion either way, I don't think, on this. But I want to get everyone's feedback. We're not here to talk about people's kids. So, see you never. Thank you, crazy boxers. Alright, so I want to have a discussion. Right? This is a flag of honor. Now, the flag of honor um, is actually printed on cloth. It has all the names up to the certain date, like this is up to date is 2002. Now it'll have all the names of the victims that lost their lives on September 11th, okay? Now, I go around talking about flag code violation, flag code policy. Now, this is obviously, no, I don't have an opinion either way, but I wanna know what you guys think. To have these names written on the flag, do you consider that a flag code violation? Obviously, it's in memoriam, but if we have an issue with the blue line flag, do we have an issue with that? It's just a topic of discussion. I don't think I have an opinion either way. I think versus a blue line flag, this is showing men and women that have lost their life. Um, so, I don't have a problem with it, but it's kind of like the Constitution. You can't cherry pick which freedoms you like and stand by. So people, let me know what you think. That's a good topic of discussion. And upstairs they have a breathalyzer machine that's absolutely enormous. It's like 
this big. Like old? Oh, it's huge. Not Imagine. Old? Yeah, it's like one of the first ones that came out. Imagine if the cops had to carry that thing around. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. They were really nice. Thanks, man. Have a good day. You, you too. I still think I know I work in Foxborough. I don't think I can take the side of the shots. What? I can't do it, dude. I can't do it. Where are you from? I'm from Boston. I'm right through here. But Instant fail. Dude, come on. You can't. I was just even giving you credit for the huge breathalyzer machine you have upstairs. Oh, I have, right, have a good day, guys. Wow. I am, I am shocked and amazed. Shocked and amazed. Maybe he was just messing with me, but we love the Patriots. Show you a little bit what this building looks like, guys. And now we're going to the um, the state trooper, uh, state trooper barracks. That's the prisoner release door. When you pay them, you get to go free. Surprising, guys. Um, I heard a lot of ad stories, like, cause you know, there's a big, big town. It's a city, right? Big, it's huge. They deal with all kinds of problems all the time because they have the Patriots here and they have campgrounds here and all sorts of stuff. And I heard a lot of stories that these guys, like, are, they, they'd rather be kind of hands-on. They'd rather be aggressive first in the name of safety and then observe your rights later. And in this situation, I haven't found that. I haven't found that. So... Big ups to the Foxborough PD for that. I hear sirens. Sounds like maybe a fire truck or an ambulance. Yeah. This is the uh, hub for all public safety. Now I'm gonna keep you guys live as we go to our next de destination. And here's what I found with state police, folks. The bigger the police station, the smaller the lobby. The bigger the police station, the smaller the lobby. And I don't know why it's like, you know, the more stuff we have to hide, the fewer doors we're going to let you walk through. Oh, I think we're going to see if we have a, uh, a directional check. fail you guys oh no directional come on no you guys are doing so good you better not not now I think I know what he's doing guys didn't use his directional so he could go catch up to that car and give him a ticket that's not that's not great all right so I don't know do we give him a fail because of the directional we're heading to our next place right now we're only four minutes away maybe three already got it in the GPS so, um, what do you think, guys? That, they were really nice inside. Do they fail because that cop didn't use his directional? What do you think? Let me know. Let me know. That's right, CPD. I actually only make people mods if I consider them to be friends or if I speak to them on a daily basis or if they're friends with my mods. I do have a couple mods that aren't friends. I think you go right. Back the way we can, yeah. Here we go. Is it not? Did he press enter then? Is it off? I hate GPSs. Take a right. Hmm. All right, so we're just a second, like maybe like two minutes away. 136 Washington. So what do you think, guys? Do they pass or fail with that directional issue? I'm not going. You need to go on the street. No, 
Yeah, well, this is where we came, so I have an idea of how to get back. So we'll take a right. And we go straight. It's right around the corner. B minus. I like that, Mike. B minus. Random commentator. Thank you, man. Well, don't don't play hooky from work for too long. We don't want you to get in trouble. We do not want you to get in trouble. It's right there, so I don't know why it's saying don't, don't touch on anything because it's right there. Mm. Yeah, I don't understand how they like this is a old school like car GPS. But we're only a mile away, less than that. State PDs, guys, they've been doing better. They've been doing it, doing much better. But you know what? Then we cross the border into Rhode Island. I think here's what happens. Auditing America has hit so many of those places, they think they're off the hook. So they just go back to acting the way, the way that they've been acting. So then when I come in there, they're already acting like jerks. And then we get the footage that we get like from North Smithfield. Having sexual relations with a prisoner. Disgusting. Sergeant Rondo of the North Smithfield PD. Oh, you're right. I did forget to put on my seatbelt. You are right. I will put it on. I have you take this left here. I remember this. I remember and this. And it's right here on the left. Yep, once we go to that street. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello, Newport Beach. What's up, Victor? Yeah, and then we take a left, and it's legit right here. Yeah. All right, guys, we're here. Um, hopefully, they do as well as the uh, local PD. Hopefully. We'll see if they do. You have arrived at your destination. Um, your no, we have, maybe we can go finished. straight across, and then we'll just come out, since we can't do that. Or maybe I just get out here, and I'll meet you there. I'll just pull over right here, and just swing around and pull in. This is what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna pop out right here, so that way she can turn around. Because we're not like the cops; we don't, you know, break the law. So she's in a right turn only lane, and she would have to take a left. So she, I'm just gonna pop out here, so these guys don't get too much of a heads up. And it's literally right there. Beautiful town out here. It's kind of a mix of like the city and the boondocks. I like it. I like it. Crazy Boxers, thank you so much, man. Crazy Boxers, where you from, bro? Can't assume that you're a guy, so either he or she, Crazy Boxers, where are you from? What's up, Michelle's Mobile Media? Doing okay, how are you today? Right now, I'm at the uh, State Policy Center. You're half a dick on your dad's side? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Travel, you're in Foxborough. We're here. Eastern area. Guy in the PA Eastern area. Well, hello, crazy boxers. Guy in the PA Eastern area. We are at the Massachusetts State Police Barracks in Foxborough. Conducting a First Amendment audit and bringing you guys a two for one today. Two for one. And guys, I think with every memorial for a police officer who was killed in the line of duty, we should have a memorial for an officer, for a, a citizen that was wrongly killed by a police officer. Like this police officer that was just convicted, we should have a memorial for them as well. Thank you for everyone watching. 
Happy Indigenous Peoples Day. Well, I've never quite seen it said that way, but to you as well. Let's take a look. It's a baby safe haven. It's good to see. It does smell like an ice skating rink in here. How you doing, sir? Starting on Trooper, how are you today? How you doing? How can I help you? I'm just taking a peek around. Okay. Thanks, man. Can I have your uh, name and badge number? Trooper Mile 3644. Thanks very much. Appreciate it, man. Yep, no problem. Feel free to take a seat, whatever. Uh, we're good. We'll, we're just taking a peek and then we'll be out of here. Yep, no worries. Is this an older station? How long has this station been here? Uh, one second. All right. Th hey, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Really yeah, I'll take a look. I'm, actually, you know what? Yeah. Thank you. Yep. How do we, why do we park on driveways and drive on parkways? Well, I have a better question. Why, if an asteroid is in the hemisphere and a hemorrhoid is in your ass, why do they call it an asteroid in the hemisphere, right? <laughs> yeah, an asteroid is in the hemisphere. And a hemorrhoid is in your ass fear. So <laughs> they call it one or the other. Where are we? Right now we're in Foxborough. Oh, I know. On here, we're in this general area, the one suck it area. Guys, where do you want me to go next? Where would you like me to go next? We got passes today all around. Well, I'd love to come to Louisiana, but I'd more so like to find out where you want me to go in Massachusetts today. If you guys throw in like five different cities, I'll randomly pick one of them and we'll go there. Australia, I would love to go to Australia. I really would. In fact, I've always wanted to go to Melbourne. Okay guys, do not enter. Now that's not unauthorized access. That is specifically saying you cannot drive in there. And then it says authorized vehicles only. That means that only police vehicles may park there. It does not say restricted access. So I'm gonna go there. Unless it's citing a general law. And it's not. There's nothing really back here. The back of the station, a couple cruisers. Oh, I like that. All right, I got five places, so now I'm going to randomly choose one. So the next thing is, guys, do I go live or do I record it and release it tomorrow? I should film the plate numbers. I mean I could. They're 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 public. But there's no real purpose to it. I'll do that at like police stations that have like epic fails and stuff like that. We'll hold them like we'll hold them to the standard. But these guys passed. We're informative. And there's some folks that are saying, oh, Josh doesn't get like he used to. He keeps his mouth shut. He's awfully quiet because he doesn't want to get arrested. Watch the video about um, the North Smithfield Police Department, about Sergeant Rondo, the cop that had 90 days unpaid leave, which is super crazy. Even after shootings, cop ha cops have 90 days paid administrative leave. He had 90 days unpaid leave after soliciting a disgusting sexual relationship with uh, a prisoner 
And uh, I got pretty crazy with this. So, I'll give the verbal judo when, um, what's up, bro? I'll give the verbal judo when they deserve it. Jason, thank you so much. It's my pleasure, man. Thanks for being on here and for being a part of this. You doing what you're doing is just as much a part of freedom as what I'm doing, and I appreciate it. Yeah, you know, live shows are tough for the entertainment value. When I have a video that I release, you know, I definitely have time to choose which video I want, cut out the lag, you know, the five, six minutes where there's nothing going on, and, and give you guys the, the, the best footage. But, you know, live's important to, for, for our protection, I think, because when a comp knows they're live and they can actually go on their phone or their computer and see that right now they're live, if I wasn't live, they could always screw with me, take my phone as evidence, and then no one would ever know if they were to violate my rights. What's up, Crystal Clear? Thank you so much, HMAT. Lord Insidious has a request. Maybe we'll honor that request. Yeah, Michelle's Mobile Media. So when you hit live on your computer, um, it actually like lags. It's, there's something going on with Facebook, but really appreciate everybody tuning in and we'll see you very shortly and that's the reason I stopped you today